welcome to Buckshot Chronicles. Season 1, episode 7, I think. I think Sink is back from work. He has the day off. I was uh, at work. Uh, it was taxing, but I'm, I'm glad it's over with. I'm going to relax now. Enjoy the day. Uh, so we have some guests with us today. Today we have, if you look in the back, right here, that guy. That is Big Mac. That is Caleb. That is Mike's number one son. Mike can't stand his other son, so we bring this one all the time. <laughs> Actually, Mike only has three kids, so it's all good. <laughs> Two girls, one boy. And then if you look in the middle, that is Ruby. See, we're trying to give everybody some names here, but uh, we haven't quite come up with hers yet. So we're going to try to see what kind of uh, kind of comes out throughout the day. And then whenever something comes up, we're just going to give it to her. And if you look in the back, that is Claire. This is her first time with us as well. This is Mike's middle daughter, or middle child, second daughter. And we have come up with a couple names for her. Cheese curd, chestnut, Willy Wonka. What did you end up coming up with, Claire? Cheese curd. Cheese curd. So together we have Senior Buckshot, or Sensei Buckshot. Sensei. Then we have Big Mac. Then we have Rubes, Ruby, we're coming up with her, and Chestnut. And me, I have no idea what my name is. I'm just <laughs> happy to be here. Another one. Another one. Ah! No longer Padawan. No longer Padawan. No longer Padawan. Me gone. <laughs> so, this is going to be different today, everyone. So, today uh, we're going to have a couple of video shoots today, but the first, pretty much the whole day until we get tonight, we're going to go to Mike's land. So, this is not just about. We're going out to the 40. To the 40. Mike's 40. So, this is not going to just be about fishing, you know, and hunting like we talked about before, but, you know, we had some interviews with Corey on the last one. Uh, he gave us some great info on how to use his lures and uh, what they're for. Uh, but this time we're going to Mike's land. We're going to show you kind of what get, we get the tractor out, get the tractor out, go, off, go for a little uh, tractor ride, get the dogs running. Yep. Right with the dogs running. And it's, it's God's country. It is God's country. So uh, we're going to do that and shoot some guns. If you're listening to the music, you're going to hear God's country. Because <laughs> that will be the background music. And we're going to do some s'mores, we're going to shoot some rifles. And we're gonna look at moving my tree stand, and we're gonna look at potentially maybe even taking down some fencing. And so it's a day to just to go out and have some fun and get stuff set up for hunting for the fall. So uh, it's a good time when we go out there. We like to spend the day when we do. And look at Big Mac back there. This kid's like four years old, and he looks like he's about a you know like a senior in college. So hey, we're gonna take the door off. Yeah, we're gonna make him do all the heavy work, you know. <laughs> and then you got Rubes in a chestnut or, or pop tart or cheese curd. <laughs> back there you know she's just gonna do all the i don't know beating people up i don't know there's a lot of amish out there lucy's we're gonna stick her out there lucy's name so lucy is the dog uh cat is blue bear i guess so we do have callie callie my dog but she's 10 weeks old 25 pounds she's gonna need a couple more a uh, couple more times before she comes out there with us so all right so we're gonna touch base uh, we're not gonna do the drink with mike until we do the fishing video tonight. later on this evening tonight and uh, just so you know, Big Mac and Pop Tart Chestnut Cheese Curd, I mean, <laughs> is gonna go out there and help us pick something just really gross and disgusting yeah. so you can drink it. And I, I think I we're gonna keep too. that tradition going on. And I also want to give a shout out to, I can't remember all the names, but my goodness, I've had a lot of calls and texts and uh, just people instant message me on, on Facebook saying how they like this, they kind of like the wholesomeness of it and, and uh, this is the fun and the camaraderie. So we're going to keep this going. If you watch, we'd appreciate it. Uh, share us on Facebook, like us on Facebook, make a comment, and then also go to YouTube and subscribe. Uh, the more that we can get it out there and just to say, hey, these are just people out here having a good time who, who are good at fishing and good at hunting, and we just want to share our love and joy for our families and the sports that we love. All right, later, guys.
Buckshot Chronicles. Hey guys, we just wanted to introduce you to Mike's land. This is where we're going to be filming today. Uh, Mike's uncle Dale. Uncle Dale uh, left uh, all the male, I guess, nephews uh, his land, and he broke it up in a bunch of silver parts. And so this, we're on Abel's lot right now. We're going to be at Mike's land here in a little bit, but uh, the whole family they all get along great. So this is really nice. So uh, Mike's probably going to be doing a little bit more of the videoing here since it's his land, so we can kind of explain some things and. Uh, he'll give you a little tour here in about three seconds. Thanks. Hey there. So uh, here's the farm. I don't know what you can see, but uh, this is the barn here. And so now we use it to kind of store everything. I got my tractor in here. So we'll take you in and show you. Hey there, so uh, I just wanted to show everybody, this is my carry-all. I love this thing, it works, fits on the back of my tractor, goes up and down. Uh, I've turned it into more of a kind of a people carry-all, so we can use it when we go hunting. If we get a deer, we can lay the deer there. I got a spot here for Kenton. And uh, I found an old toolbox um, on the junk heap. I, I fixed it up, uh, you know, took, Took the bends out of it, and now that works pretty good for a uh, little toolbox here. Got a handle here. Um, if we want to bring the kids, I could just throw a bale of hay on. Throw the bale of hay on there, and uh, away we go. We go down the road, go down to my 40. Uh, right now, uh, this is just kind of a sharp here edge, and I'm gonna just take that off with my chainsaw. So my, my farm boss. So let's do that quick. Hey, welcome everybody. This is, we're in the middle of my 40 now. And um, so I'll just point out a few things that we got here. Um, Kenton and I planted a little apple tree over there. You can't see it from here very well, but we just uh, cut it off. As you see, there's another apple tree uh, full of apples right there. Deer love it. It's a nice little trail. It goes right down to my deer stand right here. This is a, this is a thorough fair in the, in the fall, so. Uh, field of egg, egg field in here. And um, I rent that out right now. Uh, just uh, brings in a little extra, but um, so got that to work with. But we just want to make this uh, an awesome uh, hunting, hunting mecca for us. Uh, we have pheasants here, there's deer. Um, we're talking about getting some quail started. And, uh, and uh, there's rough grouse, got a lot of rough grouse here. But uh, let me show you some of the native plants I've, we got going on here. So that's vervain, the purple one? Yep, I got a lot of vervain as we go as we go out and see. I planted a bunch of stuff in here. This is yarrow, you said, the white one? The white is yarrow. Okay. This is vervain. Vervain. Looks like a candle stick. And then these are just some, I think this is ironweed and joe pie weed. I got, see where all the orange flags are? Where I planted some stuff. What's the, the yellow? yellow? That's yeah. goldenrod. Goldenrod. Yep, a lot okay. of goldenrod. We just want to help the the uh, um, wildlife here. Um, all wildlife, not just not just the deer we chase.
First up is Claire. The contest is hit big, medium, and small. You get you three shots. Pick one. To start. Mike up, the same thing. We pray for rain and thank him when it's falling because it brings a grain and a little bit of money. All right, Caleb is up for the same thing. Big Mac. End of the day at Buckshot Chronicles at Mike's property. We're heading back home. We had our uh, we had our shooting contest. It was the dads against the kids, and uh, it was really close. Claire and Ruby did pretty decent. Uh, the tough guy that we had to match up against is that guy who's sitting there in the corner back there called Big Mac. <laughs> so, so as you can probably see in some of the video, Mike and I are. Uh, kind of sitting or standing and leaning up using the thing and Big Mac over here tries to show off it stands up doesn't doesn't use anything as a rust and just starts popping them on the metal but anyways Mike and I edged them out just a little bit so we're happy with the win we'll take it but I can tell in a couple more years uh, that's not going to be the case right but uh but no we did good it was fun we had a good time and we're grateful that uh Big Mac Ruby and uh Chestnut Pikachu sprinkles. Um, I think it's cheese curds. Cheese curds joined us today. Uh, they're gonna join us this evening when we go and shoot uh, episode eight uh, for fishing, and we're gonna go Lake Wapagasset. So a big shout out to our our guest stars, and I hope you enjoyed Mike's Land. We're probably gonna go out there again a little bit more frequently here as it gets closer to fall, so we can get everything set up. Uh, obviously, we we're hoping that Hayfield was. Uh, was, was taken down but the farmer hadn't got to it yet so Mike's going to reach out to him and make sure we try to get that done here shortly we got some fencing we got to take down we have to move my stand um, there's a few more things we want to get planted and cleared off you know before the season starts running season starts so there's thank you guys as always please like us share share us on Facebook and uh, comment and then also go to YouTube and subscribe and leave a comment all right guys thanks all right